Hello my beautiful fragrance family, Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. And I'm just going to keep on giving you guys these budget friendly fragrance views. That 40 ish and $100 range and most of these are way less than that. And a good number of these you can find at your local rack stores. And man, this fragrance here, I'm glad that I waited because it was 1999 as all of this house tends to be at the at the rack stores or local rack stores they marked it down to 16 dollars i almost got it at the 1999 because i've been really impressed with this house lately when it marked down to 16 dollars i just about jumped on that thing for some reason i didn't and guess what that thing was marked down to 12 dollars so, is this one right here? Banana Republic Slate. And this is what, hard to see the front of it, the bottle looks like. Look at that juice. Isn't that beautiful? Reminds me of Rasasi Hawas or um, Darej or whatever that's called. I love the way that that juice looks. This is real similar, the bottle to like Black Walnut and Walnut Legend and all that. But man, I just, I think that's so classy looking. Atomizer is the same as Black Walnut, a little leather right there in it. Real light, plastic, cheap. Clicks nicely into place, real nice into place, which I'm glad it does because it almost looks like you want to pick it up from that thing. And the Atomizer itself is not the best, but it ain't too, too bad. So this is basically a first impressions. Um, you don't get the unboxing. Forgive me for that, but I've only squirted it in my hand and I just wanted to go over this thing real quick because we talk about springtime fragrances, right? Because we're getting, we're rolling into spring, especially in Florida here right now. This thing is the epitome of spring. It is perfect for the spring. There's only two notes in this thing, clary sage and ginger, but you get a lot more than that. Just like on Davidoff Cool Water's, um, clary sage and and grapefruit right there's a whole lot more going on in that same thing with this this opens up with almost a crisp green soapy kind of a feel not like a shower gel but like a bar soap like white bar soap what you get in like a hotel or something like that almost like pedigree there's almost like a lavender feel in this thing and there's just like a hint of like almost earthiness they're spicy in here warm spicy fresh spicy there's uh, like a citrus feel, like I said, it's almost like pedigree. And uh, the dry down is just about identical to the opening. The opening, like I said, I'm going to keep saying this, almost feels like it has a pedigree type feel. If you don't know what that is, that's like citrus leaves, like crushed up citrus leaves in that pedigree, real bitter green citrus kind of a smell. And you almost get that in the opening that fizzles away and you're left with the ginger and clary sage giving it all that other stuff the fresh spicy warm spicy touches of powder like almost like a lavendery powder there's not much sweetness there's like a hint of sweetness but it's mostly fresh spicy citrus smooth somewhat powdery little bit earthy kind of a fragrance really 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 good for twelve dollars Overall rating, it sounds like I'm really hyping this thing up, but I'm not. It's like a five and a half or a six. If I get five hours of per, uh, performance out of this thing, I will give it a six out of 10. I doubt that's gonna happen. A lot of these Banana Republics don't perform very well. Some of them perform decent, but most of them aren't all the, aren't all the greatest, but the quality is there. This thing does not smell super cheap or super synthetic. It's not an incredibly believable uh, ginger note or anything like that, but there's nothing offensive about this thing. It's great for the office, great for the spring, the summer, and this has a touch of class. Almost like the bottle's a little classy looking. I could picture somebody like walking around, like if you're on the beach with this thing, wearing like that long white uh, polo, like long sleeve polo with your shoes off and like a long khaki pants or something. I could picture like this kind of, that, uh, those two going together. And uh, yeah. I mean, I'm going to be reaching for this thing in the spring. Again, not mind-blowing, but for $12, boy, you can do a whole lot worse for $12. I recommend this thing over 90%, 95% of any fragrance that's $15 and under. 
really good for the money. If you see it for 12 bucks, snag that thing. For 20, mm, it's kind of worth it for 20, but definitely not something that you have to go and get, but $12, yeah, get this thing for that. And if you don't like it, which I highly doubt because it's super inoffensive, you might not be blown away, but I highly doubt that you won't really like it. It's only 12 bucks. <laughs> I'm sure that somebody will give it to your kid or your nephew or something like that. So um, yeah, any age range, daytime, casual, somewhat formal, springtime, definitely type of a fragrance. Um, glad I picked it up. So that's my first impressions of Banana Republic's Slate. With that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always. And until next time.